Motherwell. Rangers are going for their sixth consecutive league championship, and as usual, it's a full house at Ibrox as we join commentator Jerry McNee. So where we go in front of another full house here at Ibrox Stadium. The crowd in the region of 45,000. The match sold out earlier on this week, and uh, that tends to be the way of things here these days. Rangers four points ahead of Motherwell going into this match, but uh, Motherwell have a game in hand, which they play against Aberdeen, the other challengers, in the midweek. So it's a crucial afternoon in the championship race. Rangers chasing their 44th title, their six in a row. But of course, Motherwell won here earlier in the season by two goals to one, so they certainly pose a threat. They've had a fine season. So an early touch here for Paul Lambert, putting in the ball. Tommy Fine almost getting there. Still the ball in play. This is McKinnon getting in a good early cross. So we by Ferguson. A bit of a slack one though. Travokovic attempting the shot but getting no power into it. Probably winning themselves a few free kicks in these opening stages. So Lambert takes it shot. It's floated in by McKinnon. And that come off Robertson. That's a throw from Lambert. John Brown makes a challenge. Ferguson plays it through to McCall. This is Trevor Stephen to Gary Stevens. Ferguson, Robertson's racing away in the left. Here he is. Floating in the high when looking for Hatley. And Dykstra gathers up and safely under a lot of pressure from the Rangers striker. You'll we'll see Dykstra ever present in this Motherwell side, playing his 35th consecutive game this afternoon. And he's had 13 shutouts so far. High went in again for Hatley. Hatley launching himself at the Motherwell keeper. Yeah, once again, that's excellent goalkeeper for Seth Dykstra. The big swirling cross going in for David, David Roberts there, but Dykstra keeps his eye on the ball and gathers it safely. Kind of digging in well there for Motherwell. This is Tommy Fine, who needs some support. Comes from Lambert. Kravaka pitches well forward. Headed away by Brown. Turned by Lambert, this is Tommy Coyne, onto the left, but it's Phil O'Donnell! It's a great save by Andy Gorham. What a chance there for Phil O'Donnell. And brilliantly blocked by Andy Gorham. Well, he's so alert here, Andy Gorham. Terrific in these situations. Tommy Coyne picks it up, not really marked on the end of the edge of the box. O'Donnell rushes in, but Gorham rushes out, makes a great stop. This is John Brown, and Dykstra does well. John Brown still looking for his first goal of the season. He scored against Motherwell last year. Yeah, normally those type of corner kicks, Tr Trevor Stephen swings them right to the back, but John Brown makes a good near post run there. It's a minute of injury time played in this first half. It's Robertson with the throw for Rangers. But there goes the half-time whistle. The half-time score here at Ibrook Stadium. Rangers nil, Motherwell nil. When we return, highlights of the second half in Glasgow. Jerry McNee. Now, here we go for the second half. Uh, it's been a highly competitive afternoon. No changes in either lineup. Rangers have David McPherson and Ali McCoyst on the bench. Motherwell have Alec Burns and George Burley. 18 years between them. Burns just 20. George Burley coming up for his 38th birthday. But here come Rangers right away, it's Mikhailichenko sending in the ball. And it's away by Martin, a touch from Provokovic. Mikhailichenko's in there again. Jury through for McCall, the flag's up though. And in any case, the ball went behind. Ferguson making more and more of a mark in this game. Wins the ball well, sends it through now for Jury. It's Jury with Philip and great pace by Jury. And the save from Dykstra. Well, Gordon Jury showing tremendous pace there. And a straight run in and goal with John Philibin. But here come Motherwell now. There's Kravokovic trying to get the ball through, but uh, it's clear by Brown. Robertson gets a touch. And the offside flag goes up. 
And Rangers will make a change. And it's the highly popular Ali McCoy who will replace Alexei Mikhailichenko with 60 minutes gone. Yeah, uh, just waiting for permission for the player to leave the field and for McCoy's to come on. Well, Ellie McCoy has seven goals this season, despite the number of games he has missed. And he could just make the difference on the day. This is uh, Dougie Arnott now twisting and turning inside the penalty area, but uh, Rangers getting in the way. And as far as Jimmy Dolan, this is Lambert, Dolan again, back to Lambert, a great shot and a marvellous goal by Paul Lambert. 63 minutes gone, a superb strike by the Motherwell player, jubilation for the players and the supporters. Well, Motherwell won here earlier in the season, can they do it again? The right foot shot gave Gorham absolutely no chance at all. He combined so well there, did Paul Lambert with Jimmy Dolan. Yeah, it was a fantastic strike here by Paul Lambert. It was a lovely little one-two with him and Jamie Dolan. Put his right foot onto that one and gave Andy Gorham no chance. An absolute screamer. The Rangers and Ellie McCoy, the substitute, have it all to do. Will they respond? The ball's given away. Uh, Gary Stevens to Phil O'Donnell. Donald's so good at this type of run, but uh, too many Rangers players around him. So Ferguson caught now. Lambert hits it again. Well, <laughs> he's quite right to have a goal after that magnificent strike of just a few moments ago. The confidence must be high, the adrenaline pumping. This is Brown for Rangers. Again, it's aimed in at Tatley. It's McCoy's trying the early shot. It's Jury, it's a deflection, it's a goal. The perfect response from Rangers. Jury's shot after 65 minutes, deflecting high into the back of the net. Rangers respond like the champions they are. The high ball played into Hatley. McCoy's early shot there. In step, Jury. And the ball come off McKinnon, who was on the ground. It's hard luck on Motherwell, but it's Rangers 1, Motherwell 1. And the game explodes in dramatic fashion. Switch of play by Ferguson. And Gary Stevens. Now it's Goff. Around. Just down by Jury. Hatley looking for McCoy. McCoy's right through in goal. The keeper comes to meet him. And the ball goes behind for the corner kick. Goff's head up. The offside flag is up. Uh, Tommy Coyne hadn't quite uh, back onside. This is Robertson. Well, Tommy Coyne threw a punch there. He was angry, he's indicating that uh, Robertson had a high kick at him, but he clearly lifted a hand there, he didn't connect, but this could be an ordering off for Tommy Coyne. He certainly threw a punch there, but he gets away with a yellow card, and in my opinion, he's fortunate. It's Jury again. One last charge by Rangers, we're into injury time, it's Jury. McCall, plays for handball, it's a penalty kick. John Philbin has been penalised. The referee had no hesitation, pointed right to the spot, and this could be a very cruel afternoon indeed for Motherwell. It's a clear-cut penalty kick. They can have no complaints at all. Yeah, it's a silly, silly thing to do, because I mean, there wasn't any real danger. They just, the ball was there in front of his hand, and he decided to, to palm it. Crazy. It's Mark Hatley who takes the responsibility. Will it be goal number 25 of the season for Hatley? It is! And Mark Hatley wins the match for Rangers in injury time. In dramatic fashion, 
Well, you don't win five championships in a row unless you keep going for the 90 minutes. Joy for Hitley and his teammates. So, two weeks running. Rangers have come from behind. And it's all over. And that is the kind of result which wins championships. Rangers well on course for the six in a row. Delight for their fans. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium. Rangers 2, Motherwell 1. And after this weekend's results, Glasgow Rangers River Plate are coached by Danielle Patrick.